Sounds good. Yeah, the meeting is recording now, so probably you want to, uh, you know, repeat the okay. yep. course one. All right, sounds good. So again, you know, welcome to the debate. Our subject for today is online study versus classroom study. Um, there are, you know, you're going to get three minutes in the first round uh, to support your um, arguments, to support your stance. Um, and after the one round, the second round will be the rebuttal round. Um, you guys can, you know, cross um, examine, right? Rebuttal uh, for any other participant. Um, again, you get three minutes, up to three minutes for that round as well. Um, after the rebuttal, I guess the, the, the person can uh, defend, right, um, against Sorry. the rebuttal. Um, so those are the, the, the three, you know, the three rounds of the debate. So um, I guess um, if you, yeah, go ahead. Just one sort of four for the question. What's up? Um, so about the debate, um, will it be one on one or like what will the stand be? Uh, the, so it will be you, you know, uh, yeah, it will be one on one. So you get a time, you know, we ask you to, you know, start talking and then we wait for you to finish it, your thoughts. Okay. Is that, you know, so each person gets, you know, a dedicated three minutes to talk, right? And then we go a full round. And then, right, so each, um, you know, after we, we go fully, all the three participants, and then we, we ask for the rebuttal. So, you know, may, may, you may want to take notes. So what, what I meant was that, like, um, like, will there be, like, um, like two people on one team or? No, 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 no. It's all individual, right? So it's not, you're not going to do it like that. Yeah, I get it. I know what you're saying. No, it's like all one on one Single, right? You, you support, you talk, you know, um, supporting your reasons and arguments, right? It's not a, like a team, you know, a debate kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, one zero five nine has a question. Um, do you choose which side we're on, or do we get to choose like which side that we get to argue? You can you can pick. I think we're not going with the format, right? So you can pick whatever, right? Okay. It's all random. Yeah. Just you know, two sides. You two, you two, you do whatever you. Uh, it's up to you. Okay. So if if you don't have any other questions. Um, I think we are, you know, if you're all ready, just give me a thumbs up if you're all ready. All right, sounds good. So I will say, um, and um, Rija, you can, you know, you know, as soon as the, the, you know, the first participant starts speaking, you can, you know, start the timer. Sure, I'll be the timekeeper. Yeah. Okay. So uh, maybe chest number 1059, you can, you know, start first. Okay. So I believe that um, studying in a classroom is more beneficial for students because you, one, you get the emotional connection, like you're there in real life studying. So um, also as well, there aren't any, there aren't that many distractions in this, there aren't that many distractions um, surrounding you to like stop you working or anything. And also, you don't get really tempted to do the wrong thing because someone's watching you and making sure that you do the work. So it's beneficial for you because you're making sure that you're focused learning. Um, also, it's more professional to teach in, um, in an environment where it's just the teacher and the students where you just learn it. And then you can have more um, better discussions like if you have any questions about what you're learning, it's easier to just raise your hand and ask the question than to send an email and make it a whole big deal over one little question. And you can have better discussions and learn it even better. Um, that's it. That's it? Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you. Number 1059. And um, let's um, just one sort of four four. We want to the next participant. I think online classes are better are good because you can uh, 
you can uh, do it at home without like no one watching you so you're not like really stressed. And if you need help with something, you can ask like a sibling or a parent to help you with something. And it's not like, um, Your uh, your thoughts are broken, right? Looks like. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I think you can go on up to three minutes. Did we lose him or? No, I think um, he stopped talking. Um, That's fine. I mean, we lost we can his give him time. Um, yeah, yeah. He's still within his time uh, time limit, yeah. so we can give him time to gather his thoughts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he lost his so train you of can thoughts. Go to the next person, up to you. Yeah, yeah. I think let him. Um, so just one zero four four. Did you get your uh, train of thoughts back? No, I think that's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Thank you. And uh, let's move on to 1004. I believe that e-learning is better or online learning because it gives you more, a lot more flexibility and time. It also increases retention rates up 60%, which means that your memory is, your memory like rate is way higher when you study online. And it is also said that e-learning reduces pollution. So if you think about it, buses going to school, cars going to school, uh, throw us students like maybe messing around with trash. It would be easier if everyone stayed home because it would reduce a lot more pollution. And and there's a study by the Open University in Britain that has found that online courses equate to average of 90% less energy and 85% fewer CO2 emissions per student than traditional in-person courses. So that, uh, so as I said, 90% less energy is wasted and 85% CO2 is emitted or 85% less CO2 is emitted into the air. A recent study also shows that students are 9% more likely to pass a test than those who study in a classroom. Be because you're at home, you have a more time, you're less stressed out and you have more time to think about or do whatever you have assignments for. And uh, if you, in tests, you could ha have asked extracurricular questions. So whenever you're studying it at home, you have the chance to explore a little more than you have in a classroom. Um, and when, if it's all e-learning, it also reduces cost for, uh, for school facilities. So governments can use that money to help unprivileged kids and help them have an education. D and I know that some kids go to school also for the food. So with the money that's saved from the school uh, school closings, if if this is if if this is going to happen, they can use they can make food stands every day for children who need that. And that's it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. One zero zero four. Um, all right. Now, um, I think we finished the first round, right? Um, I think now you guys can go for um, a cross exam or rebuttal round. So that's like whoever wants to go first, you can you know raise your hand and then you can start for the rebuttal.
right? Um, so whenever you are ready, right? Sure, but um, anybody else's arguments or points, right? Feel free to raise your hand. Did I hear anybody? Did I see anybody raising? Go for it. Okay, I'll, I'll go. All right. So, going against the thing that you have a more less distractions. In online assessments, you can have instant feedback as well as more frequent assessments, and re which reduces distraction. So when you take more assessments every day on whatever you learn, you have better memory of it because you just learned it and you can have less distractions because you just take the test without no one uh, watching you or so you don't get stressed in. And to support my last, my last statement, the recent study that students online are 9% more likely to pass a test, a more recent meta-analysis limited to 50 findings from the relevant research also confirmed that academic performance in general is higher with, from, with online versus in class learning. So um, just a small thing, um, I think you're supportive of the uh, online e-learning thing, right? Yes, so sir. What you're you know, rebutting is against the, the classroom, right? So do you have um, anything to, you know, whatever the first person said, right? Um, yes. Supporting the classroom, do you have any comments? Do you agree or disagree? I think that's the rebuttal what we, you know, if you have anything. Oh, I'm right? sorry. So uh, as I said first on this round, I disagree with the part uh, that classrooms re uh, reduce distractions because you can like you can look around the classroom, play with your friends, but at home you have a your own environment and you can have instant tests which reduce distractions so that you you're like you're still studying but uh, you have like you're not stressed out. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you. So you basically disagreed on the distraction part, right? Less distraction yes, in the classroom environment. You don't think that's true, right? Um, mm, yeah. Test 1059, do you want to defend your original you know, thinking there? Well, so about the distractions, you can have plenty of distractions in the home as just as much in the classroom. Also, you have a teacher in the classroom to watch you to make sure you don't like get distracted in the first place. So even if studies show that like you can pass a test, like 9% more students pass the test at home, um, well, well distractions, they can be anywhere from like siblings messing around to like parents like on the phone or something that you can hear. You can get distracted um, just as much as home and as in the classroom. I want to support my point of if it's more or less with distractions at home, or yeah, less distractions at home, because again, frequent assessments and you have your parents that keep you, keep you watch. So like you are more flat, you're more with your parents than teachers. Uh, so parents can like if they need to like they can force you but teachers can't as much as parents and again frequent assessments instant feedback they all reduce distraction more in the home thank you you can well thanks to modern technology you can have plenty of instant tests at in the classroom and also um Forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, didn't you say, well, what was it? Oh, there was something that you said about um, how parents can um, um, 
help you and like force you more than teachers, like force yeah. you to do work. Well, um, you can get stressed out from doing from them doing that as well. All right. Um, so, anything else from Chess One Zero Four Four? Do you have any additional any anything for you know cross exam and rebuttal? Anything the other two participants said? No. Okay. If not, I guess you know we probably nearing the you know, the final round, I guess we had the rebuttal, we had the defense against the rebuttal. Right? I think we'll give just probably another, just to close, to close out, right? Um, each participant, maybe another 30 seconds. So let's start with um, 1059. Okay. So in conclusion, I believe that the classroom is a better place because you can be socially interactive with people which works on your social skills and um, you can um, deal with if you have any questions you can deal with it with a teacher or even classmates yourself and you can interact with them as well and doing it at home isn't as well because you can get plenty of distractions yourself and you can get stressed out of being alone and isolated from your friends and from your classroom and getting, and you also have like a different environment where you're not that used to because you're used to studying in the classroom with like, with many people there studying as well with you. So with that, you're, you're discomfortable, you're uncomfortable, excuse me. And you can't really, you don't really feel that great studying without like a teacher there to guide you. I mean, you may have parents there, I know, but they're busy as well with work and, the, and taking care of everyone in the house. And well, they're busy as well. So you can't like have them with you all the time. So that's why classroom with the teacher there all the time to help you. It's pretty much a better environment than online learning where you can get distracted easily. Thank you, I'm done. All right, thank you. And uh, chess number 1044. I think that online classes are better because um, um, in, because in classroom classes, uh, I don't think you have to like um, travel for like field trips or do any of that. And you can just like eat your own food at your own house that you like. And what she what she said about the um the, the parents being busy, you can actually have one of your siblings help you because um if it's an older sibling, they're probably not gonna be um studying because they're they're basically in, they're basically gonna be in the house too, so you can probably like ask them for help in their free time, or something. Um. Can I say something? All right, uh, sounds good. You know, no, hold on. So, okay. um, I think we are into the final closing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, can you just one zero four four? Let's give a chance to um, the last participant one zero four. So, I want to end by saying that e-learning gives you a lot more flexibility and time. So, as you said, if parents are working, then you can still ask them later because you have more time to do your work. Memory gets memory percents are higher and re distractions are reduced because of frequent assessments and uh, technology today can give you instant feedback just like teaching. And e-learning also reduces pollution so that's another advantage for Earth. So I end, end it with that. Thank you. Right. Um, thank you, everyone. I guess we have done one full round of your arguments, your rebuttal, your defense, and the final closing. Um, so I think um, 
uh, just to interject, Sunil, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. Since we have a few minutes left, mm -hmm. if there are anything that anyone wants to bring up, probably we have a few minutes to ac accommodate it. Okay. Um, Anybody, you know, I mean, like just opening it up. I know it is it is not in the rule book, but opening it yeah. up. Mm, may I go? Yeah, I think uh, one zero five nine raised her hand. So let let's start with. Okay. Um, chest one zero four four. You said that you can ask um, an older sibling. Um, if you have any questions. Yeah, I think he he said that. Yeah. Yeah. What if you're an only child? What do you do then? And what if your parents are busy with work? And then you have to make a big deal about sending an email to your teacher and then waiting for a response and then it just makes a big whole lot of trouble. I mean, you may have the time to later, well, but what if um, they don't? You could have like Googled it or something. That's true. I agree. So Google is your sibling then, right? But Google, but Google can only give you so much. It's better if like someone explains to you like the actual like, what if it's a math problem? If you don't understand the algorithm, Google can only give you so much. Well, that is um, pretty true. All right, sounds good. Um, so that was, um, you know, questioning the sibling, no sibling, Googling, explaining from a Google versus explaining from a person. Okay. Um, I think uh, just one zero zero four has something to say. Yeah. So I just want to elaborate more on the point that I said, if, if we do do online learning, we can reduce school maintenance costs, which then can, this one can be used to enable students who are underprivileged to have a, a classroom or an online classroom to go to. Uh, food, we can make food stands around the city or around the state. And just to add on to that, e-learning flexibility. E-learning can give you so much flexibility that if, especially people with family constraints, they can finish when like when time their time is possible. So if, your parents can't work with you at this point of time. You don't need to do it at that point of time. You can do it whenever your parents can work with you if you need your parents' help. And if you can't do it, same thing. Thank you. All right, sounds good. Great, great discussion, guys. Um, I think you, you guys brought up, you know, a lot of great points. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, ideas to, you know, um, you know, from a distraction, from a stress, from a you know cost, um, you know. Um, so that's great. You know, um, thank you for taking time to you know prepare to come in here and you know to participate. Right. Um, great job, guys. I think we're going to um, you know end the debate here. Um, so thank you, Rijo. Um, thank you to the CLTMA for doing this. Right. I guess you know there is we will be in, in a in a mood like this maybe for several months so i think we're using you know the technology in a good way to you know um, work around for you know yeah. uh, for stuff like this great great use of technology all right so uh, before before we hang up right i should give a big thanks to sunil because he has taken up the ownership of this thing and he has like uh, brought it up as his own baby. Uh, so it's a, it is such a nice thing. Thanks a lot for that. Because as you all know, right, we are in a unprecedented situation, right? We, we all don't know what is happening, but I'm so glad to hear the kids come up and, you know, uh, do a competition like this that you're online, right? That's also really, really wonderful. And it is really great that we were able to do this competition. And I am really thankful for the organization, CLTMA for uh, organizing it. I'm, and I'm really thankful for the judge, uh, uh, Sunil, uh, uh, for uh, being part of it. And 
even if uh, he's not part of it let me tell the second judge is going to be rahim um uh, he is a father of uh, one of our uh, uh, clt member uh, so he was also actively involved in all of this all of this organization and participations but he couldn't join right now but he will listen to all your recordings and probably if there are any inputs he will give you offline so um i am really grateful for these two people for taking the ownership and uh, you know you you can't do anything unless somebody really takes ownership of it and i'm really grateful to you guys thank you all right thank you very much um have a good uh, rest of the day rest of the kalolsavam if you're you know participating in the other events thank you all right thank you bye bye